nicely on your teacher call. My best friend's cousin's sister said your brother was in class today. He was being bad. Don't tell, please. I promise I'll do whatever you want. Deal! Anybody have, like, any runny noses, any incidents in school, anything that we should know about? Thanks, you Don't you think I forgot about last night? I'm gonna get you back. I hope you know that, right? <gasps> what are you even talking about, Zach? Get me back for what? I didn't even do anything. Layla, you know what you did. Last night you tattooed on me to my Uncle Jimmy. You got me whooped. All because you couldn't keep your big fat mouth shut. Uh, and, and, and Layla, I, I would have never told on you. But since you told on me, you leave me no choice. And guess what? What I do to you is gonna hurt ten times worse than what my Uncle Jimmy did to me. And trust me, it didn't hurt anyway. I was faking. No, no, Zach, please, please. You should have thought about that before you snitched on me. Now you gotta get stitches. Just listen to me, please, please, Zachary, please listen to me. I will do anything, like anything in this world, please. Hmm. Okay, look, look, look. I will take out the trash for a month, a whole month. Uh, Layla, I do that in my sleep. That's easy peasy. Man. Okay, okay, okay. Listen, listen. I'll do the dishes. I'll, I'll clean your room. I'll take out the trash for a whole two months. Dishwashing pro. I do that in my sleep. Really, that? I said I was sorry. You could at least say, Layla, I accept your sorry. I accept it. Well, Layla, that's sorry to my butt. You remember? It got whooped last night. Okay, that's why you suck. And your butt's right. What number is this? I don't know this number. Hello? Hello, Mrs. Tink. It's Mr. Longbottom, second Layla's teacher. We had an incident in class today, which is why I've been calling you. Oh, Lord! Mr. Longbottom, what did Zach do now? Oh, no, no. Zach did a good job in class today. Zach did all his work. But Layla, oh, Layla. Layla is bad. She's the one who caused disturbance in class today. Layla? Yes, ma'am, Layla. What did she do? Oh, I'm going to need a lot of her to tell you this one. So, Layla, take phone out. I said, Layla, put phone away. Layla, take phone out. Layla, put phone away. So, Layla, take the phone back out. She popped bottom to Megan the Stallion. <gasps> I don't know who that is, but then she's going to pull another student's hair because she can pop bottom faster than the other girl. I don't know, but Megan the Stallion make them want to pop bottom. But what make me mad is Layla is going to punch another boy in the face because he didn't want to kiss Layla. I wouldn't kiss Layla either if I saw that she popped bottom to Megan the Stallion. I cannot believe this. I've never seen that type of behavior from Layla, but Zach, I have. But Layla, I don't know what got into Layla. Layla just popped bottom. So what I'm hoping is I could tell you so that way you can help her straighten up for school tomorrow. I'm gonna get her some act right for tomorrow, don't worry. Glad to hear that, Miss Tink, or Mrs. Tink. I'm sorry, ma'am, if I call you the wrong name. It's Mrs. Tink to you, Long Thong. Bye. I'm gonna meet them at the door. Anyone have anything to tell me? Uh, oh, no, no. Uh, uh, Layla, what is this that I hear you shaking your behind to Megan the Stallion and Mr. Longbottom's class? Ooh, you in trouble, Layla. She sure is. Now explain yourself. Uh, mm, well, uh, uh don't be stuttering now. Go ahead and shake your honey how you was shaking it in that class. Let me see. Oh, now you're scared. You wasn't scared when you was in class punching that little boy because he didn't want to give you a kiss? No, 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 no. I'm sorry, please. I'm so sorry. Please don't whoop me. I don't want to whoop you. Oh, no, get up. You can stop crying because your punishment is going to be way worse than any whooping. <gasps> really? Really? Yes, really. As a matter of fact, Zach's going to give you your punishment. What? What? No, that is not fair at all. No, Zach can't do that. What's not fair is that Zach is in class doing what he has to do. Paying attention, getting his work done. And you just taking it for a joke like you out on the playground. But, but Don't you worry, Layla. I have the perfect punishment. <laughs> so you're just going to punish me by making me brush my teeth? Oh, don't you worry, your stinky 
breath but you brushed your teeth this morning i'm gonna show you exactly what you're gonna do with it you just wait now zachary don't be doing too much she is a little girl she is in trouble but don't take it easy on her or i could just do it myself oh i won't come on layla teachers are talking about when I got in trouble. Don't you worry about what's on that floor, you Layla Missy. You just scrub it up and you make sure it's spiffy clean. Uh, leave me alone, Dad. It's bad enough I'm down here cleaning with the two. Hey, hold on. Wait one second minute. Is this my two prescribed? You cleaning the floor with my two friends. It took you long enough to figure it out, you brainless knocking girl. Anyways, this isn't that bad anyway. It's gonna get worse from here on out, so you better be prepared, Missy. Your cousin told me to punish you and punish you is what I'm gonna do. So when you're done cleaning this kitchen, we're gonna head on over to that toilet where I pooped last night after I got that whooping, you remember? Fine, I'm done anyway! Uh, uh, uh. Don't forget your handy dandy toothbrush. Oh, come on, Mr. Toothbrush! Oh, this must be what my teachers are talking about. I love being the boss. Because you're in trouble. Uh, That's why I stop. I really hate it here, bro. You need to go back to your house and leave us alone. You don't even live here either. Anyways, it's time for round two. Round two? Yep, you're not so brainless after all. That's what comes after round one. Brush your teeth. What? This toothbrush? Well, now I'm starting to second thing. Your brain, Missy. Yeah, that one. Mm, I guess I have to. <laughs> Doesn't taste so bad. Ew! I always knew girls had cooties. Now you really have a potty mouth. Yes, yes, I'm done doing your little punishment. No, you're not, Missy. I took a whole whooping for you that night. You were supposed to keep your big fat mouth shut, and you couldn't do it. So now it's my turn. That's why you have a potty mouth now because you can't keep your trap closed. Ah! <laughs> 